I've just spoken to a lot of heartbroken young men there in the last hour or so. Um, you maybe just put it into into context this evening. Yeah, it's very disappointing. You know, even though we went thirty nil down, we, you know, we still could have and probably should have won the game. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I never felt we were that far away from getting a score, um, and um, so to, you know, to give away some of the soft scores that we did uh, is frustrating, um, and it's frustrating because. You know, the players have invested so much in the last few years. We probably ask a lot of them as coaches, and they they deliver nonstop. And uh, they're an amazing group of players to work for. And you know, they they'll they'll feel they've let people down, and kind of I think the coaches might even feel then that we've let the players down because they're they're just a great bunch of lads. But it's sport, isn't it? You know, it is sport. It's tiny margins, you know, you're not playing against weak teams, you, you know, you're playing against New Zealand, you're playing against good teams that can hurt you in an instant and that's what happened today, you know, we're held up over the line by by, by a centre in, in a mall, um, you know, a bounce of a ball towards Dan Sheehan, um, you know, it's very small margins and unfortunately we've come out the wrong side of that small margin this week. Um, you've spoken about some of those stepping away. Obviously, Keith, who you know very well, and, and indeed Johnny. Um, we, we need to look to the future as well. And I mean, should, I'm sure those guys have left a legacy and perhaps may be involved in the future in the way that you've uh, come back. But huge, huge contributions to Irish rugby. Yeah, massive contributions. I, you know, I've known Keith since he's about 10 years of age. I played with his dad, so he, Keith used to be a training with us when, when he was young. And um, um, it's been a pleasure to watch him throughout his career. He's, you know. He, I think he's he's been a great, I suppose, example to people in terms of his professionalism and and the way he plays the game and and how he's looked after himself. And then obviously a great example in terms of how he's spoken about some of his struggles. You know what what, what a you know what a great example for young people. And there's plenty of people struggling with mental health in the country. So it's it's been fan, and fantastic. And then you know we actually spoke about it a few months ago. But, you know what a great mentor he's been for back three players within the team. So, I suppose the legacy he has of of, of giving to the team and, and giving to other people is a great example. Um, and then Johnny, you know, he's an incredible piece of stuff. I'm delighted my career coincided with a good piece of his career, and I'm delighted my coaching career. I I, I got to work with him as well. Um, you know, amazing rugby player. Uh, you know, I don't think I don't think there's a better player in the world at seeing space and getting the ball to the space early like him. But I think a big part of his legacy would be how much he cares about the teams he plays in and how much he, you know, how much he's willing to to, to give of himself to get the best out of the teams he plays in. And that's a brilliant example for the the Caelan Durrises, the Dan Sheehans um, of this world. and uh, I Will we see him back as a coach, you think? I don't know. I don't know. We were just slagging him there about it earlier. So who knows? Who knows? It'd be great. I think he'd be a fantastic coach, but I, I don't know what his plans are. Well, thanks for your time. Okay, cheers. cheers.